Welcome to Flappity Flap Podcast with your hosts, Brandon and Sarah. Hello. Uh, today we're going to be talking about... Should I just jump into it like yeah, that? Yeah, sure. I right. mean, unless you want to talk about anything else. Um, what's there to talk about? <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so mispronounced words. Mm-hmm. Did I already say that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we just had... Uh, I guess we will take a second. We to just... explain why we're not on our on top of our game. Yeah. So we started the day off with a hike, which was really nice. But yeah. then we when we got home... We were really healthy. We were being really healthy Californians. Yes. And then when we got home, we had fried chicken and mac and cheese. At least I did. Mm-hmm. And buttery, buttery mashed potatoes. Fried chicken is so good. I forgot how good it is was <laughs> so yeah i drove an hour plus round trip uh maybe an hour yeah to get fried chicken because sweet tea nowhere else like has fried chicken apart from popeyes and kfc, KFC. do we even have a popeyes around here and we have a kfc near not nearby but in in town there are a few yeah. kfcs but do we have any popeyes here the only one that we do. i knew of was like vallejo I think we have a Popeyes in Santa Rosa, mm. but it's fast food. The KFC's got bad reviews. At least the Roner Park one did. Are you doing okay? Yeah, having a little bit of an internal burp. My insides are rebelling. Qu- yeah, questioning my <laughs> choices, my life choices. But oh my god, mm. fried chicken! That fried chicken was so good. It is the tra- tra- tragedy of living not in the South. The one of the few, <laughs> oh, hot take. Um, that no good barbecue. Uh, well, no good. Um, yeah, I don't even like barbecue foods. that much, but but fried chicken. Like I feel like we've talked about this a few times, where we just get like a hankering for fried chicken, and it's like where I haven't had it in like a year or more years. Probably. I mean, because like we said, you can get it in sandwiches, mm-hmm. uh, but just by itself or like as. Yeah, like like with like a, a fried chicken meal, like mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, biscuit, um, whatever fixins you want with it. There's I I can't think of a place. I mean, we looked, and at first a couple days ago we were like, oh, sweet teas in Windsor, holy shit, twenty six bucks for a fried chicken meal. And then finally we were tearing apart the computer yesterday, and I was like, we deserve this. <laughs> and I That's was what like, it always comes to with us. We will go on like well, a hike, and then after yeah. we'll be like, oh, we need burgers. But or I think we'll we go, just have we'll want... do some exercise and yeah. we'll be like, we need yeah, this that. awful food for our bodies to make up for yeah, what we've done, we which is good. We should be rewarding ourselves with like great salads and like a smoothie or something. We should, but that just sounds awful. It sounds so awful. It sounds terrible. <laughs> but um, also I feel like we have craved fried chicken a few times and just been at a loss. And then Brandon is always up for, let's just go shop for the ingredients and just make it ourselves but it just wouldn't have been the same and i just want to buy it and have it be ready to shove in my gob and so i just got it in my head and um he was you know pulling apart the computer and trying to figure out how to set because we put a new hard drive in my computer and new ram Mm -hmm. because they give you a piddly four gigabytes each or i keep forgetting i think it's i think it was a total of eight gigs and now we're at 32 now you're at 32 Mm-hmm. Did I do my math right? Yeah. <laughs> but so I was like, you know what? Wait. What? Eight times yeah, four yeah, is yeah. 32. Okay. <laughs> I, I learned that in third grade. I what? memorized my multiplication table. I, I, my brain had gone back to four. It's it, Okay. My brain's right. not functioning. I mean, I already am low functioning. All the But from fried chicken all and the blood mac is in and the cheese. Stomach yeah. Processing, you know, that. And Maybe. then you just put chocolate covered raisins on top of it. So you don't haven't Don't tell them the about problem. that. You don't have to add that. Right before recording. Yeah. No, they are really good though. And I'm eyeballing the Yeah, um, don't do that. Put them in the ice chest. The, do it right uh, now. Put them in the ice chest. Candied pecans and Put it in the ice chest. Um uh dried cantaloupe, which mm-hmm. I don't I don't know if many people have had, but dried cantaloupe is pretty damn good. If you like dried uh mango? mango but it's basically like dried mango, but like thicker and without the fibrous bits. Which I personally like, but you clearly 
not super a fan. Kind of like a Turkish delight, but more like more uh, resistance when you bite it. Because Turkish del- Turk- Mango? Or? Turkish delights, no, the cantaloupe. Oh, okay. Turkish delights are kind of just like gooey. Mm-hmm. I don't like the gooey ones that just squish. I like some resistance. Yeah. You like a challenge? Yeah. At least at the beginning. If there's like a little bit of like grisly crunchiness on the outside kind of thing going on, and then it's squishy in the middle, that's fucking yes. That is the best. You're an enigma. Why? I don't know. Just the way you went through that convoluted description of the appropriate level of resistance and gristle. I mean... I I couldn't think of the word. Like just... uh, Fibrous? Like coating. Like a harder Mm. outside than inside. Okay. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know where we were going with that, and I don't know if we got where we wanted to go. I don't think we got where we wanted to go. Fried chicken, y'all. Mm-mm. Fried chicken is so good. Oh, the good thing is that even though it was 26 bucks, which some people might be like, oh, that's standard, but I'm sorry, it just... I think only Californians and New Yorkers would say, that's that sounds normal. Yeah. But it was a lot of food, and we stretched it to two meals, and that was... That's true. That made me happy. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, okay, this is more like a $12 a piece. 13 <laughs> $13 a piece meal. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So, that's and bad. I thought it was... I'm not a connoisseur. I'm not a foodie. Uh, I haven't had fried chicken in a long time, but I thought it was really good. It I thought really everything good. was really good. Yeah. Maybe a little too much butter and oil in your mac and cheese. I, they gave me a cup of mac and cheese with it, and it the bottom of the cup, probably like an inch and a half, mm-hmm. when you reheat, was it. Yeah. filled with butter. Mm-hmm. I I dumped out so much so much butter. It was mm-hmm. fucking disgusting. I don't know if it was butter or oil, but. Probably a bit of both. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You don't see all that when you first get it and it's still hot because it's just evenly distributed on your... I didn't see it because I ate the top off of it. Oh. It was hiding in the bottom. Kind of like when you went out and bought that noodle dish that was loaded with butter. Mm -hmm. Like, and some people eat that in like one sitting and probably polish it off. I stretched it to three or four. And I still woke up with acid reflux Mm -hmm. that night wow we sound old anyway let's move on to the fun (laughs) stuff (laughs) yeah but it was a really good it was a really good fried chicken meal the five out of five go get some fried chicken do it y'all i mean obviously i I keep saying y'all check the reviews because it's a southern food and you're just thinking about fried chicken and southern people i don't know anyway check the reviews what do you check no i'm i'm not talking to you Oh, how rude. I'm ta- sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Check the reviews before you go to your fried chicken spot mm. because I'm so glad I checked the KFC reviews in Runner Park because, oh, my God, it was like flies everywhere. The floor was sticky. Mm. I mean, you know, it's it's not in a great spot there. but And it's fast food. But still, like, there's a reason that, like, the health department checks places there's a bar it's low they do but 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 when you have younger folks working at those kind of places that maybe don't care about people or health and yep all right moving on (laughs) moving on uh like bathe in the sink guy remember the guy that bathed in the taco bell sink you know and there was that lady that mopped up some stuff on the floor with a burger patty. Ew, not ew, a pa- ew, ew, not ew. a patty. No, it was a bun. Don't tell me these things. You know, and, not right now. And there's just a lot of not gross... right now when I'm still digesting. But there's a lot of gross stuff like that that happens with um, you know, fast food under low paid fast food folks. Speaking of kind of possibly gross things, you're making not though. <laughs> How rude. I don't think it's gross, but a lot of people do. Yeah, um, so natto is fermented soybeans, and I forget what the bacteria bacteria is. Mm-hmm. Is it like natto, natto kenites or something? I don't remember. I don't know. But it's really supposed to be quite good for you. And um, Japanese I was on food. antibiotics recently, so maybe that'll help my stomach. I don't know if there's like certain kind of bacteria that you want to repopulate, but I think it's really good for your gut health. And it's um, so you cook the beans, and I got a pressure cooker, I got an instant pot. 
and the lady on YouTube, I forget what her name is, but if you just search like how to make natto, that like the top videos are her, which I forget her name, and natto dad has a couple. I can natto look it up dad. Right now. Natto daddy. But I looked up hers because I didn't want to do it his way, which is like uh, he has like a kind of old just just a pressure cooker, but also I think one of them he uses like a heating coil thing in the oven. Yeah, um, it's a little weird. It's a little involved and. I don't and just use the oven. That. Why and are you using a heating coil in... It, I don't know. It's a little strange. But, okay, I wasn't being judgy. You were, but... Um. But, I mean, it is. You're. I mean, why not just use the oven? Well, I don't know. Like, lower the rack. If, if the bottom of the whatever has to be warmer, lower the rack to the bottom, if you can, and start your oven. I don't know. Whatever. Uh... So I watched, okay, her name is Emmy Maid, E-M-M-Y-M-A-D-E, and she's adorable. I don't, I assume she's Japanese because she is talking about how long she's wanted to make natto. That was I don't very know white what, natto. I don't know what race she is. Does, um, doesn't have her last name. Yeah. Um, I could go to our channel. Maybe it'll say. But uh, she's super, has a good video. Oh. There's some stuff she left out that I was just, I don't know, maybe I was just too nervous and it's really not that much of a science, but, um, and then Nato Dad. Between the two of them, I kind of got good, um, well, I don't know if they're good because I haven't seen how my Nato's going to turn out, but basically, if you Google it, if you've never seen it before, it looks like spider eggs or something. It's like beans with just all this goop, but it's- It's stringy, gooey beans, and it looks like, I mean, it looks like, uh, kind of like- Saliva? Yeah. Like really stringy saliva you on should, beans. You should look up uh, kids trying natto because that's hilarious. But um, if you do ever have natto, you know, uh, you can get it from pretty much any Asia Mart mm -hmm. in a little pack. Always, It's always like in the... pack or something? It's always in the um, refrigerated aisle. And just add the sauce that comes with it, mix mm -hmm. it up, maybe have it with some rice or some egg or something. Yeah. It's really good. That's my goal to have, like, probably for breakfast every day is maybe not even the egg because I feel like I like eggs, but in the morning my stomach is really, my stomach's really hungry, but it's also sensitive, and eggs kind of, like, I want them for the protein, but they kind of make me feel, like, a little bit sick, um, and so I might just go to eating natto and rice and just a bit of soy sauce. Because, and um, I feel like I could eat it with brown rice, too. Um, gross. You had a little bit of brown rice, and you said it wasn't as gross as you remembered. Oh. I thought. I don't, I don't, okay. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm making my first batch using an Instant Pot. I'm really excited. But also I wanted to buy. And they're buy, big. They're big, beefy beans. I don't know if I got the right kind of beans, the right kind of soybeans, but I'm going to, I'm going to see how it turns out. Because not though, um, are usually like pea size they're teeny tiny i might have overcooked the beans a little because i didn't want to vent it the quick way which means that the water spews all over the fucking place so i let it vent naturally which i think means they're sitting still in the heat oh it makes them bigger and beefier bigger and beefier. um so uh yeah i don't know we'll see how it goes maybe we'll talk about it in the next episode and um i'm probably going to try another batch or a few batches to see if i can perfect it maybe try a different brand of um soybeans like the one that Natto Dad suggests. Um, and I'm just excited to have something new for breakfast every day that I think will make me feel a little healthier. Because a lot of times we eat eggs and sourdough toast, and I love sourdough, but it's not super good for you. And um, I think the Natto, you get the protein and fiber, right? Don't beans have protein? And from yes. the bean, but then you get also the benefit of the bacteria. But also is. soy has a lot of estrogen in it. True. So I think... Don't men, men have more of a problem with that? I think men and women have to be careful with it. Okay. Because it's, it's a lot. So maybe I, I should change it up, like maybe eat it just a couple times a week? I think I've heard that people have died from soy sauce overdose. But, but that's much, probably from drinking it how, to try to commit suicide. Oh. And I think you turn like, I think you get like a crazy uh, mark from it and turn kind of purple Ooh. or something. Ooh. I, uh, this is just stuff I've heard. <laughs> You're just totally throwing shit out there without... Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. That's cool. We're not a science podcast. I mean, people are not going to be following our advice. Not yet. Not yet. We will never be a science podcast. Oh, okay. And they will never follow our life advice to, like, be healthier or... Except, like, research your own stuff if you want to try not to. Um, but it's good. It's really good. It's an acquired taste for sure. Like, if you watch the kids eating it, they don't really give it a chance. Well, and they're eating it just straight. 
So it's different if you're, rice. if you're eating it straight, it's, it's a little, it's, it's a, a little, little harder to I, handle. I think I was able to accept it more because I knew how good it was for me. And then, and like you say, it tastes like coffee and I'm yeah. like, well, I like coffee. It's got a coffee taste. I don't usually equate beans with coffee, but I You know acquired... what's funny about that though? Huh? Where does coffee come from? Oh yeah, shit. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like the beans that you eat. I don't know. That's a really good point. I always just think of them as being a naturally occurring liquid. Coffee ain't beans. <laughs> it's funny when um, Americans try uh, adzuki beans or mm-hmm. like, you know, red bean paste in Japanese treats. And mm-hmm. they're like, beans is a dessert. And it's like, what is chocolate? Fucking beans. Yeah, but it's not in bean <laughs> form. It's in like That's true. liquid or I don't like adzuki beans either. P- humans just love beans, I guess. My mom doesn't. We're a bean eating. So I guess she's not a human. We're a bean eating, bean drinking race. Yeah. Of, of monkey, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's like twenty minutes of stuff that probably some people don't want to hear about. But tough luck. I think... You have a fast forward button, so use it. Wow. Use it, you damn monkey. So aggressive. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm punishing everyone for the two down votes we got on the last video. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. Sorry, I just did some paper towel rustling in, you, in the you did. mic. God damn. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, speaking of, I think so, I was subliminally affected by that first word. So I looked up a little list of mispronounced words that we have both heard. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, sometimes they drive you crazy, I think. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you will say them and somebody will bring it up to you. Me or just you, like the general you? The you. general okay. you. Uh, like, because I was going to say, yeah, them's fighting words. You're yeah, you about. will say them, too. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I used to say bernoculars. Mm-hmm. B-E-R-noculars. <laughs> and I have never been corrected, I think, because I would say it fast enough to where yeah. it kind of sounded like I was saying binoculars. Mm-hmm. And you corrected me. Big surprise. Yeah. I think, I, I wonder how it happened. I wonder if you were like, whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just say? I think because we were kind of newly together, I was a little more gentle about it than I would otherwise have been. I think I was like, what are you saying? Are you saying binoculars? And you were like, yeah. And I was like, you know, it's binoculars, right? And you were like, totally. <laughs> is that I how it went I down? Was, I think I was, no, I'm totally just, oh, okay. but I, my point is, I think I was probably a little nicer when we were first together. I'm sorry about that, by the way. I'm sorry that I've just become more of a bitch. That's okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're not a bitch. So what's what's the next one? The next one? I, I don't mean, think we've even done the first. Oh, yeah. But not so, so these are not all about pronunciation, but about like spelling or usage or, or like mixing two different words. Because the first one you have is all right and all right. Mm-hmm. And I do get this one confused. I think when I'm not sure, I'll Google it. But more often than not, I'll just change it to like, okay. Because I'm like, is it? I don't know. Um, I think all right, A L R I G H T mm-hmm. is like an acknowledgement, like okay, right? You're the one who supposedly supposedly I, did this research. Uh, I I just was making a list. I didn't really oh, do any research. And all right, are you all right? A L L, nice spelling. What? Oh, I thought you put two L's. You fucking. I oh, was, that, that I, bitch talk just, like, snapped right back. It just snapped you in the ass like a little whip towel. Fucking. I thought you spelled it A-L-R-L. It corrected me. All-R-L. Is all right not a word? All right with a... It's, like, not coming up. Uh, Adjective. All right. Underneath. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, I just my saw goodness. These. Use no, your eyes. Let's, look. Look at the example. Satisfactory, but let's not especially was... good. Acceptable. See, All right. why is it not using this version as an adjective? Is it both? The T was all right. I don't... Maybe, you know... What's your impression of which one is right in which scenario? I don't actually know. So I put it on the list without yeah. actually knowing. I thought you were going to do some minimal research. I didn't do any research. You're the worst. Yep. I'm just kidding. Okay, if people stay strong and keep pushing, we'll be all right. So we'll be okay. That's one L. Yeah, uh, one word. And one L. One word, one L. Uh, uh, where's the, ver- where's the version of all right? I think we should move on. I think people are saying it's, you don't use it. You don't use two L's or no. you don't use one L? 
I think it's so old. They're saying the spelling all right is nearly as old as all right. Some critics have insisted all right is wrong. I think some people, what? I think they're arguing that all right, the single word is, um, is wrong, is not to be used. What? Say what? I mean, it's saying adjective, all right, one word, one L, but then all the examples are two words, two L's. So it's, it's like, that's Weird. not common usage. Hm. Weird. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> the next How is embarrassing. espresso. Some people say espresso with I an X. I feel like if you don't know this by now, well, it's hard to correct people without coming across as snotty or like making it like an awkward moment. But if you just if never you don't read know it this by now and you're not from like the South or the Midwest or something like where what have you been doing? Where's your head been in the sand in another orifice? Because it's espresso. It's not like unless well, it's people express people espresso. also say especially. Hi, with hi. an X, and it the correct form is especially. I think those people have never like read or a book or written etc. Mm -hmm. But it's etc. Et. Right. It's actually like two words or et Latin cetera. Et cetera. Et space c e t e r a. Right. Mm -hmm. And the abbreviation is like one little, you know, word with a period. So we're starting to sound a little snobby. So what's a word that you misspeak or have? Have we talked about this? Because I forgot which ones we talked about. I, well, I have a real hard time with, um, gesture and gesture. Oh, yeah. Gesture is not a word, I believe. Gesture is not a word for from some my reason, experience. I got it in my head because I was reading out loud to Brandon because we went through this. I really enjoyed reading The Remaining to Him, which is like a zombie, a really great zombie series by DJ Moles. And they kept using that word. And I would, every time I would stop and I would be like, gesture? gesture and he's that, like stop saying it the wrong way and i'm like i can't remember but that's the problem is you would read it and you'd be like gesture 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 and it's like you're just further com confusing yourself but i couldn't remember which was which until i said it and you corrected me gesture so i think i need i need to just remember like jester like a court jester but gesture. Haven't you heard people say gesture? Yeah, but I, for some reason, I, it's like Shiba Inu or whatever, where... It was a polite gesture. Yeah, I've heard of it. I think I just made that very clear. Okay. I just thought I needed to use it in a sentence You're for You're really you. good at this snobby thing. <laughs> ja. Shiba Inu is a different language word, though. Yeah, but what... So I would always say Shina Ibu, right? And then... You'd mix it up a little bit, but, but then you got it right. But it's Shiba Inu? Yeah. Okay, so just think of like Queen of Sheba, Inu. I don't know what that is, but okay, whatever okay. helps you. All right. Um, so that's at least one. I'm sure there's other ones I do, right? I can't think of any. I did say mischievous, and my aunt pointed it out to me and made me feel like an idiot. It's mischievous, spelled M-I-S-C-H-I-E-V-O-U-S. -E there's no I-O-U-S. Yeah. But I definitely said it. And it was just like one of those things. I had seen it written a million times. I read a lot of books. Doesn't mean I'm good at saying the words. And I'm sure <laughs> at least like 20% of of Americans say mischievous. Yeah. But what are you going to do? Like if you know that that's... There's just like no polite way to correct something. Say, hey, dingus, you're saying that yeah, wrong. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely not the polite way. But even it's almost... Like, that would almost be better because it would kind of add some levity to the situation, except obviously you're insulting someone. But how do you do it without coming across as snotty, without humiliating them? You pull them aside later, and then a lot of times what makes it worse is they'll be like, yeah, I don't really care. Even though I think they probably do care. They're just like, you're pulling them up on a thing. But, like, but then people don't want to hear it. If they continuously say the word wrong, it can be kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. My boss will correct me sometimes because he's kind of a word wanker. But um, I spelled, let I said, let's sick someone, so-and-so on this project. But I spelled it S-I-C-K, and he was like, it's S-I-C. But I thought S-I-C was just like when you do like brackets S-I-C to indicate like an error. Like if you're quoting something and uh -huh. you're trying to indicate that, that the error in your sentence is from the original text, uh, like a case, yeah. you do brackets sick after it, after the word, uh -huh. to indicate that it's not your mistake, but you're doing the exact quote, the error was in the original thing that you're quoting from. Okay. 
I thought that's the only use of SIC. And okay. he said, no, if you're si- like, if you're sticking a dog on someone, it's SIC. What? I was like, I had no idea. I had no idea. I've been walking through this life ignorantly confident in my usage of sick em boy, chopper sick balls. <laughs> Chop? <laughs> that's, what? That's from Stand By Me. Oh. The junkyard dog. Um, sick em. Yeah. I had so no idea. That's one that isn't even on the list. Next up is ophthalmologist. I think that's hey, you for. Skip these two. Did I? These two definitely go together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hyperbole, hyperbole and epitome. Hyperbole and epi- epitome. Well, you said the first word right, and then you said the second word I, wrong. I said it wrong because I was thinking about Brian Regan's. Um, so Brian Regan has a stand-up bit and actually had a show mm. where I guess a fan came up. He's a stand-up comedian. He, uh, he had a fan come up to him after the show, and he was like, you mispronounced every word in your show and he was like well if that's not the epitome of hyperbole <laughs> yeah so he named his show that nice good um, good little nod and f you to that snotty person yes what a snotty fucking thing to say you go to see a stand-up and then you like critique their grammar or some, their pronunciation some people are just really bitter you just booted her in the face wow why yeah. do you say her didn't you say it was a, a girl? I just imagined that it was no. a chick. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm so sexist. Wow. I am sexist. Holy shit. I just shit. imagined this snotty... Because I I think because I'm, I'm listening... I was listening to this... You couldn't... You wouldn't really imagine a man doing that necessarily, though. Who's sexist now? That is totally sexist. Wow. I can't believe you said that on the heels of the thing I said, and you said it so confidently and with no awareness. I, ju- I guess I just think of... I ju- I ju- but let me say something. <laughs> I guess I just imagine women as being better at speaking. That's oh, good, good one. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> and maybe like caring more about how things are spoken. Yeah, I mean, basically, there's a reason that the the title Karen exists. Like, no offense to your mom, but there's a lot more Karens than what Kens. What what is the male version? Karen? She was a Karen. <laughs> even yeah. if it was a dude it was a karen um wow but i am sexist i do think that women do that shit more i think most men m- just might not care but also in my family no. whenever there's conversations we call them the language police and i used to get in on it and now it just kind of annoys me because it's like stop being so petty sorry family but it's always the women having these conversations about all the words that drive them crazy yeah and the men, uh, the men are just care. like whatever you know, Whatever. Like yeah. maybe there's more important things to worry about, but, but it are, there are certain things that it's not that they necessarily irritate me, but I cringe because there was a, someone at, at my work one time who is no longer there, but who is a very intelligent attorney and she used the word epitome and she was epitome, but said epitome. She said epitome. Yeah. yeah. Um, but she said it in front of multiple people and she wasn't talking to me. She was talking to this other dude, but she said it like, so kind of confidently yeah and i was like oh no and there's no way that in that moment i'm gonna say as they're still having a conversation you know it's pronounced an epitome right yeah how do you sneak that in and i didn't know her on a level to where i would have been like dude i didn't know how to say this to you like like if i had known her better it'd be like telling someone they had a booger on their face you know what you know you you know what's a good way to say to do that i think Mm. after they do it when you're around them the next time, if you're speaking to them, try to sneak it in to a convert. Try to, sn- no, try to like sneak the word into a sentence. Like, man, that guy was the epitome of an asshole. Or yeah. what, you know, however you would want to use it. I'm but probably I feel not like it's even just using not it right, a but. word. But that's the thing is it's not a word that's used often in like informal conversation. But you could just and try I working it in. I think it'd be kind of obvious. But also it's one of those words that if you have it in your mind that it's pronounced epitome, because that's the way it's spelled. And if you hear it, I don't think you're necessarily going to equate it to epitome. You're like epitome. You, you, she'd probably think it had a Y at the end. Like, I don't think it would even... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I just didn't know her. And I cringed for her because I I wanted to help her, but it was too late. Like, it, the yeah. damage was already done. Except that maybe if I said it, she would have laughed it off. But I didn't know her enough. Maybe she would have been like, Thanks. Do you know what I mean? And that would have just made me feel like an asshole. Mm-hmm. If it was a friend, like if it was a close friend, I'd be like, it's pronounced. It's, you know? And it always feels shallow, I think, because there's that underlying, well, you know what I'm talking about, right? 
that like you're getting hung up on yeah i think you do that to me a fair amount you're missing the point and, and you're getting bad. you you do that to me sometimes where you look yeah. really angry right now me <laughs> Somet- no, I'm br- sometimes I'm talking to you and you're getting hung up on like smaller details and mm-hmm. I'm like that's not that's not what I want you to focus on when I'm when yeah. I'm telling you this yeah that's not the point of the story okay but you're giving me the perfect example of why I'm never gonna do that I'm never gonna tell someone yeah who I'm not really really close to like if unless it's my sister or my mom I'm not saying shit but I think it's good to be aware of that to be aware that people might be like that's not the point or yeah. like you know thanks for <laughs> you know mm-hmm. yeah thanks for like yeah like you said that's not the point like I, like just turning it around and making me the asshole and that's it's not an appropriate time to do it mm-hmm. i wish i could have just i think in a male dominated field still i wish i could have spared her that everything you said up to that point was intelligent mm-hmm. and taken seriously and with respect and then you said that and i know that guy knows how to properly you lose that validity word. right you, you absolutely just lost credibility credibility and and i want to to lift my fellow chicks up and be like don't say that word or if you're not sure don't use it well it's you like know? it's like when someone very close to me says um are you talking about me no <laughs> somebody somebody says nuclear uh-huh. but they say nuclear yeah so when they're talking intelligently, speaking intelligently, and then they throw in nuclear, mm-hmm. your, your ears like shut shut off. It's like, I was listening to you, but when you're botching fairly common words that people should just know, it, yeah, you lose credibility. Except that that word is so commonly mispronounced that it's like become, it's probably in the dictionary now. But the thing <laughs> is, I have corrected him. Mm. But then what does he do? He digs his heels in? You yeah. Yeah. It's weird. It's like, I'm going to keep saying this yeah. word wrong, whether yeah. you like it or not. And if you want, you can fight me about it. But I'm like, it's like but, it's looking for a fight or something. Well, and there's a lack of understanding of the fact that you're kind of losing credibility by pronouncing the words wrong. Unless 50% of the population says it the way you do. Yeah. I mean, Harrison Ford said it in a movie and he's a pilot. Man. In six days, seven nights, he goes, they wouldn't. They wouldn't see a nuclear explosion if they were looking for it. But it's funny because he's clearly like a smart man. So he kind of can get away with it. But he's also like he's a hardworking with his hands kind of man. So he can like get away with it. He doesn't read books. I guess. Yeah. Um, that That's a good way to transition into um, actors misspeaking. Oh, yeah? Or at least a uh, particular actor, um, Mulder. That's not his real name. Fox right. Mulder. I think we all know. David du- David Duchovny. David Duchovny. <laughs> uh, what does he say? It's Duchovny, right? Yeah. Okay. He mispronounced... Oh, yeah. Uh, Arctic. Uh-huh. He called it Arctic. But I love saying it like that now. So maybe that's what people feel about nuclear. Is it just as fun to say Arctic? They're, I say it all the time. They're in the Arctic? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Come I love on, saying man. it. You know, you know why I love saying it? Is to just wait for your reaction. Which is just without fail. But the every problem time, with like, that just disappointed. is now, so you've, disappointed. now you've injected that into your yeah, vocabulary. Yeah, it's like gesture. So now you're going to be mispronouncing it every fucking time. Or you're going to be second guessing yourself when you're trying to say it proper. I think this one I won't because I've never said it wrong until that became a thing that we uh-huh. talked about. Uh-huh. But gesture and gesture is like a different one for me. For some reason, that is just, yeah, it's just hard for me. Again. But, but Arctic, I see the word when I'm saying it. I see it because I see it on a map. That's why. Because I see Arctic and Ant- Antarctic. And so I see it, and that reminds me. The Arctic. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, so yeah, hyperbole. It's H-Y-P-E-R-B-O-L-E, right? Yeah, hyperbole. 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 And epitome. E-P-I-T-O-M-E. It looks like epitome, but it's epitome. Yeah. Um, and isn't okay. epitome no epitaph. epitaph that could be why there, there's right? confusion yeah you know ep- what you know what confuses me all so epitaph is like what on your um it's tombstone, tombstone. okay but then there's one that i always get confused Epi- epitet uh like a racial it's like a racial slur right epitet epitet epit how do you pronounce i've it? never heard of that oh what it's does hard. it mean epit 
Oh, it is pronounced epithet. Oh, my God. Epithet. epithet. What is it? Uh, an adjective or descriptive phrase expressing a quality characteristic of the person or person or thing mentioned. Old men are often unfairly awarded the epithet. Epithet. <sighs> dirty. Weird. What? Oh, dirty old man. Weird. An epithet as a term of abuse. People jeered and hurled racial epithets. Never heard of I it. I thought it was epithet. Weird. Epithet. <laughs> epithet. So that's one. Different than epitaph. Uh, what's another? Isn't there another similar? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. English is just kind of fucking weird. We borrowed so many words who are you from... Trying to, who are you trying to channel right now? Like a Beastie Boys from the 80s or something? It just feels good on my head. It's squeezing my... My hat is squeezing my head in a I particular... I can squeeze your head for you. It's squeezing my head in a particular way that feels good. So f- f- leave me alone. <laughs> but who wears their hat like that? Who Who is that? Is it the guy from Pretty Fly for a White Guy? Uh, what's that? Offspring? The Offspring. Or like... Um, the Offspring? I thought they were like a rock band. Yeah, but but they in the Pretty Fly for a White Guy, I think he's got his hat sideways maybe. Never mind. The guy from The Offspring is in Pretty Fly, fly for no, a White Guy? No, they sing it. They sing that song. And oh. the guy in the video. I was thinking of White Men Can't Jump or something. Wow. We just went on a journey. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue this. All right. You want uh, this one. Stop How do you kicking I was an accident. It's ophthalmologist. O P H ophthalmologist. That's how it's pronounced? I thought it was ophthalmologist. Yeah, I have thought that for a long time. But it's f off, as in turning the, switching the lights off. Okay, so we always say ophthalmologist. Oh, I didn't realize there's an extra H in there. Yeah. You got, it is ophthalmologist. You got so, two H's in that. Ophthalmologist? Ophthalmologist. Well, that's fair, because it is spelled exactly the way it is pronounced. It's pronounced the way it's spelled. You know what I mean? But isn't, and that's an eye doctor, right? Basically. Yeah. I'm exhausted now. I always thought it was ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist. Yeah. Ophthalmologist. Next up. Weird. Next up, prestigious. Is it prestigious or prestigious? I like prestigious because it sounds like, I think, the way the English say it. You know, I don't, I didn't, I didn't. You didn't do any, you didn't do your research? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, that was so pitiful. Yeah. So press, press it. Prestigious. Prestigious. I think that a lot of English people say prestigious. Prestigious. But then oh. again, there's also... They pronounce prodi- They say prodigious. Prodigious? Which is a word that I kind of get confused. He's a, he had a prodigious amount of wealth or something, but... Pres- prestigious. Let's focus on this for a All right, all right. Prestigious. Not prestigious. 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 Not prestigious. Prestigious. How do you okay, say Okay, let's... Okay, let's let's I'm just take fun. a step I'm having back. Fun. Okay. <laughs> let's uh let's move on to the next one. Conk. How do people mispronounce prestigious? That's what I wanted to know. Prestigious? Oh, so I said it wrong? But the English say it that way. I think it's prestigious in American English. Oh, all, right. all right, fine. Okay, go ahead. Conk. Mm-hmm. A conch shell. Mm-hmm. Not conch. Not conch, like they say on SpongeBob. They do say conch. They say conch. The magic conch. So no one caught that, or were they just supposed to sound it might stupider? Have, it might have been on purpose, because I That's feel funny. like uh, the creator of the show would have known, because he was like a marine biologist. Oh yeah, who's that? Steven Hillenburg or something? Yeah. Not conch, yeah. Okay. Conch. Oops. Conk. And there was a character in a cartoon called Darkwater that was named named Conk. Whoa. He's like a fat little pirate. Conk. Why is it showing the phonetic? K A A N G K. That's a crazy. Weird. They don't normally put the phonetic spelling. Conk. Conk. Huh. Yep. Okay. This one. Oh, are you done with conk? Are we mm-hmm. done with conk? So not conch, conk. Like conk someone on the head. Like yeah. I'm going to do to you after this. Bring it. What's next? With a conk. <laughs> you don't have a conk shell. You don't know. That's true. <laughs> you could be hiding one somewhere. <laughs> Next up, GIF, which I have always called a GIF. Yeah. But the creator of the of the the person who created GIFs, I guess, called them GIFs. They said they said it's pronounced GIF, like. But it sounds ridiculous. 
Because it, it sounds like the peanut butter. That's part of it. It sounds like the peanut butter, and it's with a G. And typically, I mean, you know, there, there's this big, ugly debate about it that's ugly, completely... It's crazy that it's ugly. It's ugly, it's unnecessary, it's very stupid. Mm. Um, but <clears throat> I've always said GIF because, you know, if you add a T at the end of it, uh -huh. you know. Yeah. Uh, that's my logic. I think that, well, I don't know. I guess I don't hear that many people say it. I just see the word and I hear what I want to hear. Mm -hmm. But I think the popular, my impression was the popular pronunciation was GIF. And I'm just going with that until until there's like a law made that you can't <laughs> say. Damn. Because I don't want to say GIF. because You're I just a badass. Don't... You know that? Thank you. Yeah. Someone finally recognizes <laughs> that. I don't want to say the name of a peanut butter and give that sugary bullshit more promotion more free promotion you know okay that's a weird way to look at it but okay <laughs> <laughs> uh you spelled his name wrong molder it's not spelled like mold <laughs> Fucking that's not how it's spelled slander M oh mold as in like to form uh-huh okay i thought you were saying yep. mold is in. <gasps> you thought mold was spelled m-o-u-l-d I, I forgot oh my hey. goodness Shut up. Supposed <laughs> linguist over here. I never said I was a linguist. Yeah. How rude. <laughs> binoculars. binoculars. Binoculars, binoculars. I don't think we should do this one. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Chomp at the bit. Wow, you have a lot of them here. Chomp at the bit apparently in uh, the UK originated as C-H-A-M-P wow. at the bit. I don't know if it's pronounced champ at the bit, mm. but... So, I think we Americans, when we hear chomp, we think of it as a C H O M P, like to chomp on something, mm. like like a horse chomping at their bit, you know, because a bit is the piece that goes in the horse's mouth, uh, with the uh, what do you call it, reins? Is that uh -huh. what they're called? The bit. Yeah, the it's bit. It's the bit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay. Some people might not know what a bit is. It's a, yeah, it's the thing the reins you are attached to. Sorry, I was asshole. half listening because I was trying to look up whether it's in some weird old English champ was pronounced chomp, but I think it's pronounced champ because I think I've heard it pronounced champ at the bit. Champ at the yeah, bit. Yeah, so the bit is the thing that goes in the horse's mouth and connects to the reins. Is that what you were saying? That's exactly what All I was right, saying. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So So it's kind of become chomp at the bit, but it's not right? In, or... in America, uh, uh it has become chomp of the bit, but in the UK, it might still be champ of the bit. I don't know. Hmm. Only they could know. Weird. Unless we ask them. Yeah, I don't want to If do you that. know, let us know. In the U or in Canada, it might still be champ of the bit. Who knows? Well, maybe Only it's Canadians just one of those know. things that like, you know, people who are in the know say champ and people who are not in the know, in the know Say chomp. Yeah, but the pr the problem with that is if you're saying it, and you know you get you're just gonna have people constantly saying champ at the bit. What the fuck are you talking about? I feel like it's still maybe with older people. I feel like no you young person would say that phrase anyway because they'd be like, "What's a bit?" They don't ride horses. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't like chomping at the bit like they're giddy? They're like ready to go. Isn't that I what that means? I think it just means impatient, like ready to go. That's what I just said. Why do you ask me then? <laughs> Because, oh my gosh, you need to listen back to that because that's ridiculous. I don't think you said excited. I think you said, what did you say? Let's, let's no, move on. No, you tell me, tell me. No, no, no. Tell you, me. Let's move on and you can listen back to it. so much right now. Okay. You should go for it. Go no. for it. Go for it. Oh, dilate? It's not dilate. Dilate. Mm -hmm. You're not dilating your eyes or your cervix. You're dilating them. It's dilate. D-I-L-A-T-E. I always thought it was dilate. D I A L A T E. Dialate. I think I like one of those words where I see it and I know, but but it just sounds like you're saying dilate because it's your just eyes are dilated. Dilate. I think is dilate like yeah, that's like a diphthong maybe. So maybe because I think the I and the L a what maybe now? creates like a diphthong where there's like two kind of vowel sounds in one. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Something like that. Hmm. I'm not gonna go into it. Some word snobs will get on me, and I don't want to hear about it. I think they're uh, gonna get on us about a lot of this stuff. Well, we'll just we'll we, we'll just turn off comments this time. No, no, no. Get on us. <laughs> get, tell us. And teach then us. Uh, let's set a time and a place 
and we'll wear black uh, stockings over our faces and bring baseball bats and we'll duke it out. We won't really do that. No, of course not. Okay. Twink, uh, twink. Oops, sorry. Stop kicking me. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Stop picking your nose. I'm not picking my nose. <laughs> All right. Do people actually say escape still? Yep. Who? People, Let's like who specifically? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone specific. Sp- sp- You're not qualified to cover this topic. <laughs> 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 okay, we covered etc. and etc. It's etc. Just listen to Yul Brenner on The King and I. Etc. Okay, especially, I feel like we should not even have to cover those. I mean, that's the if same you say as that, escape, you're... escape, yeah. espresso, espresso. I think it's just a pattern, a theme. Okay. Uh, not being able to pronounce an S after an E and before a P or before what? a. No, and. E-X or E-S-C. Yeah. I'm saying maybe they can't pronounce the S. You know, they have trouble with that combination. It'd be funny of... if they did the opposite and, and like, if they were trying to say exit, they would say esket. <laughs> would that be funny? Yeah, it would be funny. A little bit for You're me. You're kind of mean. Because that's like a speech impediment then. Oh, man. You're racist, you're sexist, and you make fun I'm of people racist. with a speech impediment. I'm sexist. I'm so ready for a chocolate-covered raisin right now. You don't get any of those. You what? know, we went to the freaking... Um, it's not my fault. We went to this fruit stand place, mm-hmm. and I bought her specifically some candied, candy-coated whatever... Oh, pecans. Candied pecans. That's one I have a hard time with. I always want to say pecans. And she has told me before that she hates chocolate covered raisins. And, and then that's I, why he bought them. Because he knew, he thought he knew he could eat them himself. That's not why. I know. I'm going to see. I just didn't think you liked them. And then I climb into the car and you're like eyeballing them. Like, oh, what you I got there? I just wanted something with chocolate. <laughs> I just wanted something with chocolate. You should have just told me. I would have bought you something. I didn't realize until you got in the car with them, and I was like, now I want that. Okay, anyway. I'm sorry. Well, I think that wraps up our uh, mispronounced words. Yeah. What do you have? Oh, we forgot to do the thing in the middle where we tell them, <laughs> subscribe, like, rate. Just yeah. in case you got bored and got fed up and turned us off. <laughs> You'll never hear. <laughs> Please subscribe please listen it really helps us to subscribe and rate and comment and like yeah and throw us a like it makes us feel good when we get more likes than dislikes (laughs) even if it's just a couple more come on come on all right well uh, and we hope you enjoyed yeah of course yeah of course always okay thanks for listening you guys yes see you on the next show